Hey everybody, Mike Rosso here. The original, uh, the original title of this video is going to be, <laughs> I wrote it last night on a, on a little post-it. A spectacular 35 millimeter film for your still camera. That was the original title of this video, but this video is just, it's really about what to do, meaning how to process. How do you process it? Where do you process it? So Kodak Vision 3 film, it is. It's one of the most spectacular color films on the planet because it's designed for motion pictures. So the film comes in... I mean, here's your, here's your cartridge, and here's the can. So the film is for Hollywood. The film's for Hollywood. Quentin Tarantino, there's this great shot of him sitting behind the 65-millimeter Panavision camera. J.J. Abrams. Abrams, all these guys have, has, Martin Scorsese, the, all these guys have rallied around Eastman Kodak to make sure that motion picture film is still important in 2018 and beyond. And the film is so good. The colors are so good. You have 50 ISO daylight. You have 250 ISO daylight. You have 500 tungsten and this film is so good the latitude is so wide for example if you're shooting 500 you could shoot it at 400 you could shoot it at 500 you could shoot it at 800 you could shoot it at a thousand iso it's just such a wonderful film but it's designed for motion picture here at the film photography project one of our projects is this is not it by the way this is kodak gold one of our projects is to take the film off of these large cores and put it into cartridges so that you, me, everyone can shoot this film in your still camera. What about me, boss? That, so the thing with this film is it's not standard C41 processing. It's ECN-2. It's a whole different processing. It can be processed C41, but it cannot be processed by any commercial lab because the motion picture film has a black carbon base on the back called a remjet that mm, if you process it in a processing machine, I don't want to even think or I wouldn't want to be there when that processor runs it through because all the black carbon will basically melt off the film and destroy that machine. <laughs> So you cannot get this processed standard C41. So there lies the dilemma. Beautiful film, wonderful film to shoot in your still camera, but where can I get it processed? That's why I'm here. If you're going to send your film out, there are four labs that we've identified in the U.S. where you can send your Kodak Vision 3 film for processing. And they are Film Rescue. They're in Minnesota with their principal lab in Canada, so if you're Canadian, or if you're in the U.S., there's a drop point. The Boutique Film Lab, they're in Nashville, Tennessee. They will process Kodak Vision film. The Camera Shop in St. Cloud, Minnesota, they will process Kodak Vision. And Old School Film Lab, they will process Kodak Vision. So there's really no reason not to shoot this film. But what about processing it yourself? If you're processing your own black and white film at home, and or you're processing your own color film at home with our FPP C41 processing kit, you can also process this film. So all you do is follow the rules of standard C41, which is you do your wash, you pour in your developer for the three or four minutes, it says in the instructions. You pour in your Blix, that's the next portion and then your processing is finished. At that point, you take your film out of, the, out of your uh, tank and you would do a final wash. So the last step to process Kodak Vision 3 film at home is to simply rub off this black carbon base. And this is on the back side of the film. It's not on the emulsion side. It's on the, the base side of the film. You simply, with your thumb... You simply rub off this black carbon in a bucket of hot water. Final step. It's so easy. There's no reason not to process it yourself. 
And that's really it. I just wanted to do a quick video to let you folks know that this film exists, the Film Photography Project. We have it in our online store. It's really worth shooting. It gives you brilliant, realistic colors in your still photography, and I encourage you to try it out. My name is Michael Rosso. You can email me at michael at filmphotographyproject.com. Happy shooting, and we'll see you soon. Oh, don't forget, on the radio, Film Photography podcast.com you can listen to us our podcast it's on the itunes it's on the google google it's on this it's on that so we'll see you soon oh uh god I, it's really hard for me to say boutique film lab why because it's boutique okay the boutique film <laughs> just get it out of your system Whew.